One thing I've really noticed is when I don't sit in stillness or get the thoughts down on paper, then I move in a very rigid way. My body feels less expansive, it feels less free, it feels more restrictive. <laughs> and yet, when I do write, when I do journal, when I draw and sit in that stillness and just observe thoughts and allow myself to freely flow whatever is coming through, then I feel myself move throughout the rest of my day with so much more presence, with more agility, with more flexibility, with more freedom, expansiveness. And I feel so much more expansive in how I move and how I converse with other people because I've allowed the whatever's going on up here to be cleared out. Well, most of it <laughs> in the morning and at night. And I've been writing every day for the past two months and I've been really enjoying it. It's been really interesting to see what's been coming up what's been stuck and then allowed to be um, unstuck. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just finding so much, so much more freedom in how I write and, and what's been showing up. Whatever I draw usually is a reflection of what is going on up here. And yeah, I've been drawing a lot of flowers and love hearts and rainbows and mandalas and different things and it's beautiful to see. I mean, other times I am draw very unusual things that I don't even know are funny to see the unfolding of everything that is up in here on paper. It's so cool to see. And yeah, and I've also got this book, it's called Our Daily Purpose. It's really cool. I got it from a guy called Scotty um, McIntosh on Instagram, and he's awesome. It says, a book to inspire action and raise your vibration through daily tasks and reminders. And it's awesome. Today, I am on, I'm on trust. I'll read a bit of what it says. Today is the day to practice trust. Trust that we are right where we are meant to be in this period of our life. Trust does not mean doing nothing if we are unhappy with our life. It means we understand and accept that our current situation is part of our journey. We are here because we have lessons to learn and experiences to gain. If we have a goal or dream in our heart, we must trust the entire process of getting there. This trust can become an anchor to our swaying emotions. Today, can you reassure yourself and trust that you are here for a reason? Can you trust the decisions you make? Yeah, conscious decisions is everything. It's like every moment that I'm aware of what I'm doing is game changing. Anyway, my, my food, well, the food that I'm cooking for breakfast to have at my work later is cooking and um, it's gonna burn if I don't, <laughs> if I don't act on it. So I'm just gonna do that. You can come along for the journey. I'm just gonna be over here. I'm going to continue on doing this and then I'll speak to you later. Does anyone else think that this is like a big cartoon and we're all just being watched like up above? Every day I think about this. What is really up there? Like is space real? What is real? Like, what determines what is real? What is truth? Like, what is the full truth? I guess 
everyone has their truth as a person so I can share my truth from my heart but what is outside of that outside of the person the world truth and I don't think we'll ever know until we leave this place my sister's partner died about five years ago and she went to a medium and the medium channeled him like straight away and he told my sister that heaven is not like we think it is he's living the best day of his life every day and he's got like these everyone not just him has got like these VR goggles on and they're all watching like us and creating their life that gives me goosebumps like oh my gosh shivers literally down my spine I, I'm, I'm so curious about life in this physical reality and then in the astral realm too it just lights me up so much it brings me so much joy and fascination because it's like a never-ending conversation and sometimes I'm like why do I even bother like why do I bother asking these questions because I know that no one knows the truth the full truth of that until we leave and then we won't even be able to tell the people down here because we've gone unless we you know communicate through their dreams or other things and it's like oh my gosh it's just so fascinating I'm just blown away about that all right so cool <sighs> ask these questions ask the most outrageous and curious and fascinating questions I can think of it just sends my whole fucking soul on fire. It's awesome. Like, wouldn't you be fascinated about the life that you live? About how you live it? About what's really going on up there? Like, wouldn't you be fascinated about that too? Like, surely you've got some questions that you would want to ask. Or you're curious about. Like, surely there's a part of you that thinks there's another place that we go like we reincarnate somewhere like this soul leaves and then goes to another planet or I don't know like fuck knows this could be a massive cartoon and where like the earth is flat where does the ocean drop off like even just that like, I was speaking to um, a friend and we were saying how where does the ocean stop like does it just drop does the ocean just drop, like, and then we fall? Like, what? How freaking crazy that we just have no idea and we've only discovered 5% of the ocean. That doesn't, that just want to make you go out there and discover untouched surface, untouched green life that we probably have not ever seen in this physical form for, like, a billion years. Is. like there's shit out there that we haven't even touched and yeah the whole falling off the edge of the freaking ocean because we don't know when it ends oh, what even what even man